Hello guys, welcome back to the John Brown Show here. Um, I finally got this editing software running up again. I don't know how I did it. Like, um, best thing I got is probably God or something. I think there, yeah, probably God, but um, anyway, um, but yeah, we're back on the series of doing Trolls of the Zero. Now, I have some footage of me making my way to Armorka Village here, but, and this is a big but, for some reason, let me breathe this quick. You're really gonna take that EP cut one? Haven't the Armorconians been through enough? Anyway, the, after I read that little chest there, um, basically though, like, I lost a lot of footage. Basically, but like, that's not right though. Like, um, at least now, I'm back at doing this. Because very recently, I got in a school bus driving job. Um, as soon as I get through the the um, background checks more than likely I still need to do a technical air review well a second air review but um, assuming that I say nothing stupid I should probably get through it and anyway then you probably wondering like that's all good and all John but stop talking about that and talk about what's going on on camera here well anyway then so we got some edited footage here and we're investigating the wolf attack in Armco Village here I'm skipping over to a lot everyone because like no one really have any insightful insights. Um, this guy is Ren's um, father from um, the Sky Games. Um, we'll see more of him later on. But um, I think he's a decent guy overall. Like, well, well like, uh, I think his family, comp I think his family situa his situation is deceptively um, complicated, basically. But we're not too worried about that now. But like so far, though, he's like the only supporter of the SSF right now. And you can see here talking about our newspaper and how we, how even though Grace didn't paint us in the best light, we we weren't painting the worst. So um, yeah, and now he's telling us about the whole Saint Ursula thing, which is what we're going to be doing probably in the next part, or that's where we're heading to next, at least. But, um, let's see here. It's so weird to read, uh, even though I just play through all this, like, it's kind of funny. Anyway, I'm about to skip over to the fishing thing here. Here we, here we go. Anyway, this guy across the, uh, that bit, uh, 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 the what? The guy across that bridge there, he gave me a fishing pole here. And for the past, I, I cut through most of it, but like for the past 10 this minutes I was struggling with fishing because every time I the exclamation point with turbo mode on I um tried pulling out the fish but um I can never get out but like it's like it's, it's something like it's like a very split second thing it probably, probably wouldn't be so split second if it wasn't for turbo mode but I got sticky keys enabled at the, t at the time and meow is that a good response for anyone so anyway um speak of uh, too bad there's no cats around here trying to get that fish, but yeah, I was spending a lot of time googling how to fish. There, there were no real good answers. I would like to hope that they actually um tweak the fishing mechanic a bit in the um, official version of this. So I'm thinking that I might, I might, I might fish occasionally off camera just when just, just when I'm in the pinch for um septic or something, but. Otherwise, though, yeah, I'm not fishing in this place for whatsoever. <laughs> and here's me um, looking through the guy here as I'm just bashing my head against the wall since I haven't really gotten much luck here. But uh, I, I caught a few fish after this, but um, try to like, get the timing down with turbo mode on, but yeah. Like I said, this is that's 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 gonna be a me and my private time type of thing. I find it funny that they have that they, that they use dumplings for fishing rods. Like I like dumplings personally, like the actual like human food. I'm assuming that's what they mean by dumplings. I'm just using the earthworms during these practice attempts just because of the fact that monsters drop them a lot. And we're heading over to, um, after talking to all the NPCs, you, you, you have to talk to every single NPC in the town to get the story to progress. Which is slightly annoying from a technical perspective, but 
It's what I always do, so I don't really care, but hey, I care about the people, y'all. Yeah, here we get, we get some Randy and Ellie chemistry here. And we get see Tio using her hypersensitive um, sensors here. I feel like she's about to use the art. In real life, that could have just been her imagination, but in the video game, no, 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 she heard something. I think 50 Cell just Miles. I love Randy. We were damn that far, huh? This is a cute little moment here where we get to reaffirm to Tia that she is a special girl to us and that she and, and, that, and, that, and that she's our home girl here. Besides, we're getting paid for doing the investigation anyway, or at least I hope so, so... I don't really tell, hey, like, like she heard something and we investigated, like, either way, we're still getting paper. Hey, Harold. I guess I guess it's possible in real life if a, if a police officer um, car broke break down. I guess they would accept help from a kind-hearted person to um, give them a lift or something. I just can't imagine that being a thing that would normally happen, especially nowadays in the U.S. But um, life is crazy. Speaking of crazy, it's so weird seeing a vehicle move around the highway that we were just on. But yeah, I'd say that his car is roughly like a typical car, like as far as like space-wise as an American car, I suppose. Well, you know, what, now to get a closer look, I think I think that I think I think Randy got a lot more leg room because I think Randy would have the most man-spreading type of issues. But I'm surprised that they I'm surprised they never talk about that. Basically, I, like, I've seen the side of the story in um, for Harold and his wife later on in the game with Weapon C, C whatever his channel name was. I forgot what the name of it because I haven't, I haven't been doing this for so long. And I haven't watched his content lately just because of how frustrated I, I am with myself for not be able to get through my editing software. But I'm sure his channel is doing far more better than mine anyway, so I think he'll, I think he'll live. But um, anyway, the... Um, well, here we're gonna get some um, foreshadowing here, showing that Tio Tot was right on the mark. Anyway, um, we're about to arrive in um, Cross Bell here. I'm mainly doing this voiceover in one take, because I feel like this gives a more of a unique type of feel than the weapons guy, weapon, weapons, whatever his thing is. Uh, I might call him Weapon C or something. Oh yeah, I like Tia and Randy being like, Hey, remember us next time, man. Do we not have a PR department in the, the police? Like, I, I, I figure everyone has a PR department nowadays. Like, sure, this isn't the 21st century America, but... Y'all have a lawyer. Y'all have a law firm around here, right? Here in the reaction, um, I just had to give about the way the a car a toy car from um, the village, and uh, I'm kind of surprised they have something that nice looking in the village. Well, like, I'm not okay. I'm not saying that they have ugly stuff. I mean, like 
that's just such an urban looking thing. But anyway, this is where I end the video here. It's kind of short, but hey, I'll try to make more of these in the future. Um, thank you guys for um, watching my content. Um, I'd like for you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.